Don't destroy your country. You are free to write whatever you want. You can criticize the government, but don't destroy. See, when you know what you are writing is wrong, to create confusion in the country, then you are doing more harm than good. Because if the country collapses, you are within it. It doesn't collapse for me or for the police. All of us are inside. He is someone Ghanaians need to commemorate because he has also done a lot for Ghana apart from Kwame Nkrumah. I think, to me, uh, aside Kwame Nkrumah, he was uh, the second best president that Ghana has ever had. Stop portraying our country in a bad light. And I'm like, which country are you talking about? And he was like, stop portraying Ghana in a bad light to the outside world. And I'm like, how am I portraying it in a bad light? And the answer was, stop telling people we are hungry people being fed by foreigners. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, I'm coming at you from Ghana, which is in West Africa. So all of you, welcome to Ghana, the gateway to Africa. So this video is just to, uh, you know, respond to some comments under my videos depicting that i'm portraying ghana in a bad light and i want to say that if in any way my videos seem to have portrayed ghana in a bad light i am deeply deeply sorry for such because that is not the intention at all my intention for creation is not to uh, talk about the negatives of my country in any kind of way Okay, so in my last video, I was talking about General Ignatius Kutu Echampon. So in that video, my father was telling me the history uh, about General Echampon, how he became the head of state of Ghana and his policies that he introduced and how he introduced the policy of Operation Feed Yourself. So in that light, the title was pertaining to the fact that at the time, under his regime, there was this plan that became very popular all over the country and people presumed that it was General Achampong who brought this plant from America to Ghana. Hence, they named it after him, the Achampong plant. Botanically, the plant is called the Cromolina odorata. Yeah, and this plant, per what my daddy told me, is served as a fertilizer to the land. He just spread the seeds all over and it became very ubiquitous all over the country they grew on their own and per his side of the story wherever they grew on any land that land became very fertile during the regime of general ignatius kutu a champion that ghana was able to feed itself and also export the surplus food produce to other african countries and this is something to be commended for so i was just commending him in my video I was in no way portraying Ghana in a bad light. I was rather praising this man for the good work that he has done. So, because the Operation Feed Yourself was a policy that was supposed to promote agriculture. It encouraged Ghanaians to grow their own food and also feed themselves. You know what they say, do not give people fish but teach them how to fish, right? So that was exactly what General Echampong was doing. So per the title saying that, oh, he fed Ghanaians. No, he actually empowered Ghanaians to feed themselves by introducing the operation Feed Yourself. And that was not the only policy that he introduced. He also introduced the operation Feed Your Industry. I just don't want this video to be very long, but I would just want to touch upon the little things that this man has done. Like, they were not little, those were great stuff. There were so many other projects that he actually brought to fruition. And the major one for me is Operation Feed Yourself, right? Before he overthrew Dr. Busia, Ghana was owing about $300 million to the western world the imf and the world bank and all that and when he came he investigated all these loans and realized that one over three of it one third of it was illegal which amounted to 94.4 million dollars so he repudiated those loans and introduced the policy of yentia operation yentia i don't know whether it's operation but it is yentia <laughs> like that was funny joy fm actually did a documentary on this particular 
head of state the comment section someone was like oh during those days my teacher who loved to drink anytime he was drunk he would come back and he would be like but he did not actually understand what that meant until he listened to that documentary when my father told me this history i decided to look for videos and articles concerning general echampo I couldn't find much but the one i found was from joy fm that was a documentary and some write-ups from the daily graphic and some other articles and also wikipedia pedos there is a lot more to be covered and i hope to be doing that in my next videos but i just want to say that apart from dr kwame nkuma General Echampon was one other president that Ghanaians must be grateful for. We must at least requite him for the good works that he has done for this country. But I don't know. I don't know what we will do to always remember him. But I think something should be done to commemorate him. That is my own point of view. Out of the 300 million loans, the rest that were legal, he started paying them and he was left with 188,000 a million dollars and he was able to pay 170 million out of the 188 from the operation feed yourself and under his regime he has established a lot of entrepreneurs you know his policies subsidize the dealings of entrepreneurs in ghana and one of these people was the boachi mattress according to my research the boachi mattress was uh, one of Africa's luxury mattress brands Okay, and he was exporting these mattresses to other African countries and in that light he was able to establish one of the ultra modern Hospitals in those days in cantonments, which is now the police hospital They actually seized the hospital from this man under JJ Rollins and it became the Police hospital that we have in Ghana right now the point I'm trying to make is that within seven years of his leadership, he has done a whole lot without taking no loans from nobody. He did not go for loans from the IMF. He was rather against the IMF, especially from the very beginning of his leadership. He restricted everything IMF, World Bank, and he encouraged and empowered Ghanaians to have that sort of self-reliance okay to believe in ourselves produce our own goods and depend on our own selves my brother who says that i'm portraying ghana in a bad light that wasn't my intention i will never do that and i think one of my videos that he might also say that i was portraying ghana in a bad light was my land video that was the fact of it i was just talking about the things that I went through as a person living in Ghana trying to acquire a property for myself. It wasn't my intention to portray Ghanaians in a bad light. One thing you have to know is that coming out with titles is one of the most difficult tasks in content creation. So I would always urge you all to listen or to watch the whole video before you come up with conclusion and start writing comments. If in any way you even want to comment, I would urge you to at least comment on what you have watched so far but not making a conclusion just from reading the title right so talking about the land all of us who got the land there some people's buildings were being graded like they were demolishing the buildings and some people were collecting their stones and the sands and all of those things that they packed on the land for their construction they were collecting them away and that was my first time like intending to start something on the land and what i realized was that the family from which the vendor the real estate company bought the land from they were divided a part of section of the family or this group from the family sold the land to him and the other group also sold it to different people but as a company you should use professionals to attain your properties and also try to do your due diligence you shouldn't do things like desically to the detriment of the people who are patronizing your properties right so if i talk about it it is not about you know portraying my country in a bad light 
I know I was also supposed to do my due diligence, but I just depended on the intel of an organization. A friend of mine was part of that organization. Then I was like, okay, if an organization like a church, a whole church is getting this land for its members, then it must be something very genuine. It's not like the person, the real estate agent was not genuine, but he just didn't do his due diligence. And he suffered for the consequences. They are still in court because he has paid them and he has to gain his money back, right? And I am suffering for it. So if I say they sold it to me and sold it to someone else, it still means the same thing. I just wanted to put it out there. I get a lot of people asking me about buying properties in Ghana, like people in the diaspora. Some people are willing to come back to Ghana after they are retired. So if I put up these videos, I'm just giving you clues as to how you have to be careful, but not in any way was I portraying Ghana in a bad light. I know I'm all over the place, but I hope you have gotten the import of whatever I'm trying to put across. Yeah, thank you for watching my videos. And once again, if in any way you think I'm portraying Ghana in a bad light, I am deeply, deeply sorry. Like Ghana or any other country that I visit, I am not intentional of portraying them in any bad light. If anything of that sort come across, then it is very inadvertent, right? Very, very inadvertent. And I'm deeply, deeply sorry. I hope you guys find this video not negative and you watch it and leave your comments guys i beg you you guys are not watching my videos you just watch like 0 0.00 seconds then when you do that you make the algorithm to not uh, you know recommend my videos to other people so if you want to watch the video kindly try to watch it fully or at least watch half of it i am begging you please i beg you and don't look at the title watch for a second and leave your comments bad comments i beg you please thanks for watching right bye bye so this is my outfit of the day let me give you a 360 how do i look <laughs> leave your comments and let me know <laughs>